Hi Pisces, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, I've decided to bring the series back. If you're familiar with my channel, I did do these um, last year into the beginning of the new year, I think. And if you did participate on the poll I had up on my community tab of the channel, I asked viewers to participate to vote for what kind of readings they would like to see per month. And this was part of one of the selections for the singles to come back, singles readings, and these spirit messages or messages from spirit. All the messages from spirit have been out for April. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check out my channel and uh, you can watch your spirit messages for April. And I'll still be doing the love connection and um, energy reading for uh, all the signs as well as general reading, the singles, the spirit messages. In the bonus readings so that's five readings a month so if you're interested in that like share subscribe comment and hit the bell you won't miss out or check out my channel first and if you do thank you so this is for sun moon rising and venus male or female it can be past present or future take it how it resonates for you it may it may not resonate some may some may not this is intended for singles who is wondering when new love is coming into them when will they meet their next person um, you can be single maybe you are connected to somebody but single um, you can also watch the Love Connection reading that is for connections, whether you're together or not. This mostly is intended for someone who does not have anyone in their life and they want to know when am I going to find somebody. So either way, so you're welcome to watch this either way, but my intention is for singles. So we'll see what we get here for you, Pisces. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Pisces, is pull an energy card here. And we're going to see what is their energy like. This could be um, something going on around them. It could be just their personality, um, just their energy in general. So we'll see. And then we have the uh, other deck here, the spirit messages. And we'll see what is their spirit energy like. And then we have the Gaia Oracle. And we'll look at their love energy. How is their love energy towards love? And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at um, where and how you may meet this person. And then a time frame of when you could possibly meet this person. I have to say with everything going on in the world today, a lot of the readings have been coming out the end of summer into end of summer to fall to winter, even into the next year. So we'll see how that resonates. If I get spring, I take it as next spring as, you know, with current circumstances. Um, I think all of this may be quarantine, quarantine, <laughs> quarantine through the springtime, perhaps. So... All right, so, and then we'll look at, the last thing we'll look at is what kind of connection it could be between the two of you. So, Pisces. So, everything you need to know, Pisces, is down below in the description box, as well as the pinned top comment, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, um, that info is below. And if you're not comfortable tipping or energy exchanging through PayPal, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips, donations, energy exchanges if you choose to do so. Decks are listed below with links if you would like to purchase them for yourself. Um, playlists, Love General, if you'd like to go back, consider all my readings timeless. And what else is down there? A lot of stuff down there, so go check it out in the description box. Lots of stuff. All right, so what is this energy like for Pisces, new love, incoming person? So we have community here and seven here, which is about spirituality, divinely guided energy. So this community card in this deck is about a spiritual community. So they could be somebody who is very spiritual. They could be very religious. They could go to church faithfully, weekly, or they're just, if they're not religious, they're either very religious or very spiritual. Um, or they they could also be a very sociable person where they like to be out in the community. Not right now, but you know, in general, there could be like a social butterfly. Cause I think I do see, is there butterflies on here? Yep. There's butterflies. So they could be a social butterfly, you know? And I don't mean like religious to where, uh, it's a bad thing. I feel like, you know, um, they just, you know, like to follow their faith or religion or whatever it is for them or just a very spiritual kind of energy. So, all right. So let's see. Let's see. And I know there's three women on there. I mean, it could be male or female. It doesn't matter. But in this deck, this card pertains to your, um, your tribe, your family, your friends, 
mostly your spiritual uh, community. So, all right. So, let's see. What is their spirit energy like? What is their spirit energy like? What is their spirit energy like, please? Thank you so much for Pisces singles and love coming towards them. Who's coming towards them? What is their spirit energy like for Pisces? Standing your ground. Standing your ground is empowering. Confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you'll be the victor. So... And I get a lot of green here uh, for kind of like earth energy, growth, abundance, stability. It's also the hot chakra. As you see green over here. So I feel like this is someone who's not afraid to stand their ground for what they believe in, for themselves, for their friends, their family, their lover, for anybody. They're not afraid to take a stand when it's needed and stand in their beliefs. Wow. They stand tall like a, I'm getting like a tall, mighty oak tree. Very stable, planted, and grounded. So let's hope they're not too, like, strict and uh, that kind of energies. But I'm not really feeling that. But we'll see how this goes. So let's see how their love energy is. Let's see how their love energy is. What is this person's love energy? For Pisces singles, what is this person's love energy? For Pisces new love singles, who's coming towards them? What is their love energy like? Please, thank you so much. Okay, I'm getting that one. All right, what do we have here? We have nine of hearts. Fulfillment, harmony, and protection. Wow, and I got stand your ground and protection here. So, and we have 37, which is 10. Tens are about completions. One's always a new beginning here. So nine of hearts. This is like the nine of cups energy, which is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, happiness and joy in every single way. I feel like this person is just a very, um, they, I feel like they protect their, their lover, their loved ones. They like peace and harmony. They like to keep balance. They could wear their heart on their sleeve. Also, again, here's the tree. Stand, we've got two trees here. So they're not afraid of love and harmony and fulfillment. They protect those they love. They protect the, their lover's heart as well as their own heart. 37 is about completions. They're not afraid to see things through to the end <clears throat> either. And they're not afraid of new beginnings either. So that's a good energy. Wow. Getting good energy here. Um... Pisces. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Pisces, of this person. Let's clarify all this energy here for them. For you, Pisces. Let's clarify all this energy for you, Pisces. What do we have here? Well, we have four. So we have the Eight of Cups. So this is walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling, but walking to something more fulfilling. I feel like, because we do have the nine hearts here, so I feel like we got the eight and then like the nine. So I feel like whatever they walked away from, they're now in search of their nine of hearts, their nine of cups. And then we do have, wow, because we have, well, this is three swords, but we've got the five of cups, eight, nine. So it's like they're progressing here. So we have justice. So they could have gone through a divorce in the past here. Maybe they had to stand their ground um, in whatever situation this was for them, if it was divorce. But justice is here. So that is, you know, peace, harmony, balance, clarity, or divorce here. Because there was a broken heart. There could have been a third party. Maybe their uh, trust was broken with a person here, but they weren't afraid of ending this and to stand up for their beliefs. What's moral, just, and right with the justice card. But there was some sad loss, 
loneliness, hurt energy here, of course. About the two cups that were spilled, but they're still got two cups in their hand. So even though, you know, this might have been something bad for them, they're still not afraid to walk away. And, and, you know, and I don't feel like right away, but in the future when the time is right for them, they're not afraid to uh, fall in love again, I feel. You know, this, I don't think it totally broke them. Yeah, there was sadness, hurt. But, you know, I felt like they just moved on. They're very strong and firm and planted. I think they know that not everyone will break their heart. All right. They have that spiritual energy, spiritual. They may be spiritually connected very heavily here to source. So let's see. Let's get one more for their energy, please. Thank you so much. One more. Okay. Well, that's two. Well, we got two more. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, they just worked on themselves. You know, they just kept doing what they needed to do to get along here. But here's the judgment. So I feel like there could have been forgiveness in their situation. Um, that is forgiveness. It can be making a final decision. It could be a resurrection, but I don't feel like it, it's a resurrection here. Um, sometimes that talks about someone returning of the past and coming back together, but I'm not really getting that energy. Getting an energy, you know, that's just con made the decision here, just concentrate on themselves, looking forward to their new wish fulfillment in the future, whenever that day comes for them. I feel like forgiving the past, but I feel like they're walking away from their past here. And they know whatever is meant for them will come for them in the future. I feel like they're very divinely connected here to Source. Wow. Okay. So let's look at... No, I'm only going by court cards for signs, so, so it's not so confusing. So no court cards yet as to what sign they could be. But let's look at where and how you may meet this person so we got the eight of wands so it could be traveling of course when we're all able to travel again you could be traveling you could be going on vacation you could even be on an airplane flying um also when we're all allowed to fly again all right so a few more here to see Again, with the flying. <laughs> flying. I think you're going to be on an airplane flying somewhere in the future, you know. Because we have, so now we have the Knight of Wands, so there could be a fire sign. We have Sagittarius. And we have the Emperor. So it could be a business trip. Maybe you need to go on a business trip. And that's how you beat them. Either you're flying or something like that and that's how you meet this person uh, it's like on a business trip maybe they're also on a business trip or just traveling here so now we have the hierophant energy it could be on a retreat like flying to get away like on a retreat or a business trip or something like that because the hierophant again is about that spirituality and faith so it could be they're flying to go on like a spiritual retreat or a religious retreat or something like that. Maybe you are on a business trip or something if you have to fly for business for some of you, if that makes sense. Or if it's not flying, you could be, I don't know, on a bus or a train or maybe just driving in your car and I don't know wherever you're going, you somehow run into them. Something along with uh, traveling and work or business or something like that. Or some sort of retreat, if that makes sense for some of you. All right, so, well, I just got the Ten of Cups with the Three of Cups, so it's a good energy. So let's see. So now I want to look at a time frame of when this could possibly happen. Well, we got the Page of Pentacles, so now we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, which is Fall which makes sense. So it could be the beginning of fall. This page. Now the four pentacles. So heavy fall energy here, autumn. I'm just going by the, um, 
The suits represent different uh, times of the year. Pentacles is autumn. All right, let's get one more. And the Page of Wands, which is spring, but we're in spring now. So for some of you, it could be the beginning of next spring, and I know that's a long time away, or this fall. So some of you could be a year from now. Does it mean that you're not going to date other people in between? This just could be your next like major like relationship or person that comes in. Yeah, you may date, go on a date, you know, but nothing comes of it in between this. So some of you, I feel like beginning to the middle of fall and some of you like a year from now, like the beginning of spring. Wands to me is spring. Pentacles is fall. Swords is winter. Cups is summer. All right. So for me, different readers read it different ways. So, all right. So let's see what kind of connection this could be for you, Pisces, with this person. So we have Leo, Sag, Aries, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So they could be earth or fire so far. <clears throat> All right, so although the pages um, are mostly about communication, so, and it's a youthful energy sometimes, so let's see if we get any knights, kings, or queens. So we got the eight of swords, hmm. and we have the six of pentacles energy. All right, let's get one more because the Eight of Swords can be about being stuck in your head. And then the Six of Sword, uh, Six of Pentacles, though, is about balance in the Tower. Oh. Oh. So the Tower can be, you know, a disrupt, disruption, a change, a shakeup, a breakup, a breakdown, a surprise. So let's clarify, why is the Eight of Swords here? So we do have balance, but we have stuck in, stuck in somebody stuck in their head, and then we could have something changing or a disruption, epiphany, aha moment, a shakeup of some kind. So let's first clarify the Eight of Swords. Why is that here? The Seven of Cups, confused. Somebody's going to feel confused here. It could be you, Pisces, because that is water. Seven of Cups. So, I mean, this is mostly the energy of the person coming into you. So I feel like, and I didn't get any confused energy with them. I feel like they've gone through whatever they went through. They're moving on from that. They're not afraid of any kind of new things coming into their life or potential for new relationships. I think they're a very strong person. But this could be your energy. Um, you know, maybe you're confused about love and maybe you meet this person and and you're not sure what you want to do, stuck in your head, you know, and you see them as very balanced, very, very balanced, but you're just, uh, could be your energy here of just like shooken up, like, gee, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. If I'm ready for this, somebody's so, you know, at peace, harmony, balanced kind of energy. And you're like, uh, I don't know about this. I don't know. So let's see what the tower it's about for you, Pisces. Pisces. I think this is going to be somebody that your type of personality that you're not used to for some reason. Maybe you're not used to somebody so calm and at peace and balanced and strong. But also somebody who is very lighthearted and just like a very, uh, very social butterfly here. Although we do have the Knight of Wands up here. So yeah, so we do have Leo Sagittarius. All right, so let's see what the power. Hang hey, man, so that is your energy, yeah. I feel like I feel like they may be hung up on you. I think they're gonna really like you, and you're gonna feel like uh, I don't know. You're gonna want to take a break or take it slow or put it on pause. They want to work on it with the three of pentacles, and then we got two threes here, three three which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration. I feel like they're going to want to work on it and you're going to want to wait, <laughs> I feel here. Because you're going to feel like really shooken up by them and confused and stuck in your head and like, gee, I don't know. 
I don't know. And you're going to want to wait, I feel, and they're going to want to work on it. So, and then the Six of Pentacles could be about trying to balance out all the energies here. Wow. All right. I mean, we do have the Hierophant here, which can lead to long-term commitment marriage down the road. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. So you're not going to be sure about this offer, about this person. You're going to have, you may think and contemplate about it. I think they're going to know what they want. You may have some issues within yourself that you need to heal here. Um, with the devil energy. I feel like they have dealt with maybe this kind of energy in the past also. Yeah, because they had a painful, hurtful ending. I mean, you could have as well here. But now Knight of Pentacles. So Virgo, Charles, Capricorn again. So we do have heavy earth and fire here. So... Yeah, you know, this is taking, you know, maybe just taking a slow, practical approach, not rushing things for a stable, secure um, connection here. You know, could be no communication for a while with the High Priestess, but this is about, you know, your energy again, about intuition. And I feel like this person is very intuitive. They're very spiritually connected with the High Priestess. They know a lot from source. They may not tell you that, or they may be afraid to tell you that, but... Um, I feel like, you know, listening to a gut intuition here. And then we have the King of Swords and the Chariot and then the Lovers. Wow. So they, they, <laughs> they're they going to want this and they're going to want to move it forward. The King of Swords here. So now we have the Ear, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So they're going to, they have truth and clarity. They know what they want. They're very open and honest. Communication here. They're going to want to move this forward. They do see soulmate here. Then you have the sun. Wow. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Healing, um, success, victory, everything positive with the sun. And then manifesting. They want to manifest this brand new beginning with you, Pisces. So, yeah. Most successful positive card in the deck. Wanting to move this soulmate connection along. They have truth and clarity. They know exactly what they want. Somebody may not talk here or uh, may not speak of, you know, how intuitive they are, spiritually connected. But, you know, maybe just take it slow here with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody has, I think, overcame this toxic energy or maybe some things within you you need to heal and deal with here, Pisces too. And that's why you could be contemplating the offer here, but also, you know, in need of maybe your own healing as well. Kind of what I'm getting, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So that's what I see. So um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.